Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to Sound Design in Logic Pro X. Now, as the title already uh, showed you, of course, we're gonna be learning how to make a snare in Logic Pro X. So let's go ahead and begin by selecting an instrument. We're gonna go to our uh, ESP this time and select stereo. Awesome, and let's go ahead and hear what our default sound sounds like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and manipulate this uh, synthesizer so that it sounds a little bit more like a snare. Now our snare is gonna sound like, uh, kind of like a 8-bit uh, type of a vibe there, 8-bit uh, snare, I guess. So what we're gonna wanna do is make sure that all of our uh, selections right here are down to zero. We're gonna bring up our noise around here for right now. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. Okay, and this is actually a pretty simple thing to do. So uh, all we need to do is really kind of just mess around with our resonance and our frequency, maybe a little bit of uh, tweaking right here in our envelope and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and bring up our frequency a bit and I'll hit uh, the C key. Okay, and I'm gonna bring down a resonance. Okay, cool. So this is the beginning of our sound. Uh, and a few more steps right here. We're just gonna bring down our decay a bit. So it just sounds more like a hit, more percussive. Bring up our release, or actually bring this down a bit. And cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like with uh, a few instruments. We're gonna add this in in a, in a moment. So I'm gonna hit play. And let's go ahead and play with these frequencies a little bit. So very cool. So that's how you would make a very simple uh, snare type of sound using the ESP in Logic Pro X. So of course, I hope the video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. And I'm Eddie Martinez, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.